Hello and welcome to the stream again. And we'll be playing some Rainbow World Alpha 7 today, which literally just released like 10 minutes ago or so. And uh, Alpha 7 is about things made of stuff, pretty much. So there is a new system now that allows you to build pretty much everything out of pretty much anything as well. And uh, there is a new, new stat system as well, multiple types of new stones, you can ha mine new, uh, new and old stuff, you can leather harvest, you can make clothing from everything, pretty much. There is no damage deflection system, there is a new biome, tropical rainforest, which is gonna be fun times. You can make prosthetic limbs, surgery, all fun of kinds of fun stuff, you can harvest organs when you're colony is going bad, you go and sell your kidney to the market to get some, some money. You have diseases, flu, plague, malaria, sleeping sickness, chronic conditions, getting really old, and there's a bunch of new trades it seems as well. Traders carry and buy any items, so they can also bring all kinds of new fun stuff that wasn't uh, really available before. What else? You have neuro trainers, a matrix style, instant training devices. Fun times. Lockable doors, melee weapons, new animals, uh, especially for the new uh, tropical rainforest biome. Storyteller redesigned and rebalanced. That's gonna be na nice as well. Wizards carry their own food and hopefully won't raid your su food supplies. <laughs> Damn. And there is some m new translation stuff as well. So that's quite nice. And bunch of fixes, so we'll be checking out those. I also haven't played the game for a while myself, so I am missing a couple of the updates and don't know really what was added in those. But it's gonna be interesting, fun times checking those. So let's make a new, um, let's make a new world. It seems create a world, seed. Let's let's see what actually, since you can type it here, let's see what Bella does. That seems like a good size. Let's uh, generate. So it's tome, full biomes. I don't know what oh. elevation, full rainfall. It's a lot of rainfall down there. Temperature biomes. It would help if I actually knew what the new biomes is. I, I guess this is a rainforest because there's well rainfall is quite high in there. How's the elevation? May want to settle somewhere in there if I can. Let's save and finish that world. Hey, animatics and uh, send them. Here's a link, by the way, for the new stuff you wanna read. Uh, it does have uh, a hyper. Uh, well, Let's make a new colony. So these were redesigned, it seems. So Cassandra Classic, Phoebe Base Builder. Gives a lot of time between disasters and to relax and build your colony, but be wary. If she's set at a higher challenge scale, she'll hit as hard as anyone. Still increasing, and Randy Random is still here. So, what's here? Builder mode. When the story, story, uh, storyteller t sends threats after they will be 5% as large in, in challenge mode. Casual 25, rough is 60, challenge is 100%, serious 130, and the extreme challenge is 160. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, we, we spent the whole day during in the city hyper, so I didn't have time to do it, and I, I wanted to still stream, so. Hmm. I actually would like to build the base a bit. So I think I'm gonna go with the uh, Phoebe base builder for now. On. Let's go on a rough. Because I would actually like to get a good, good nice uh, colony going and not lose it immediately. Alpha 6 was kind of unforgiving. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw. Uh, some people like a uh, stalker coffee streaming that and it definitely did have 
some some pretty nice enemies and stuff. Also, let's go next, and I'm gonna select the town world. So what's this? Advanced. So you can oh, this is new. So you can see desert biome, tropical rainforest, arid shrubland, temperate forest, desert mountains, and flat boreal forest. Hm. Interesting. Oh, you can actually zoom. Uh, you can move this as well. I'm gonna settle down here, where the rainfall was pretty nice. Like there. Actually, somewhere on the coast would be nice, actually. Eastern coast, rainfall, quite a lot. Terrain is flat. Actually, let's go down just a bit. There. Average temperature. Pretty hot. And we're gonna select and go there. Even in casual you had to do some preloads. Oh, that sucks on them. So let's make some people. I don't know anything about this anymore. There's something exciting about getting hurt. She doesn't know why. <laughs> and the bloodlust. Gets harassed for hurting people. Never mind, sad blood or death. Interesting. Like shooting. Mining. Growing. Social. Intellectual and artistic. Yeah, Maya little looks like a nice guy. Nah, not really, but I'll, I just play what I really like myself, to be honest. Uh, I don't really wanna dig in Sandam, I wanna build an open, open land. Sandam will be our crazy lady. Female human colonist. Masochist and bloodlust. Sounds good. Let's see, oof. Intellectual, caring, and social. What to see? Artistic and research. Okay. Yeah. So he's industrious. Global work suite plus thirty percent sounds good. And a green thumb, growing plus two, sounds good. So he's my happy builder, grower dude. Oh, we can actually see these now. As well, this is a new thing, I think. Market value. <laughs> Mental breakdown, the threshold. And that's a lot of information. Race. Baseline human. Mostly unmodified by gene mod engineering. <laughs> Omnivorous. Character. Rename colonist. Health. <laughs> Direct by Team Minchin. That sounds pretty good. <gasps> Hyper. Team Minchin is really, really nice. Comedian, I guess. Enemies will just crash inside the base and ah, it's fine. We will shoot them. <laughs> or we'll make roofs. We'll deal with those. Let's see who else is here. Well, since Hyper is here, Hyper will be the Hyper the Oath. And uh, the last guy should actually probably have research and caring. So let's random him a bit. Housemate. Abrasive. How? Oh, that's actually Sundam's. Uh oh, you can see actually movement speed. Oh, nothing changed there. What does the ma Mashokis do? Other than he doesn't care about death and all that. We don't want a housemate, we want coma child. Psychically deaf. Mason's mind works on a psychic frequency different from everyone else. He's just just isn't affected by psychic phenomena. Minus hundred percent psychic sensitivity. 
<laughs> I do know a few. <laughs> few buddy. He looks nice. State fast. Mental breakdown, minus five. Mentally tough and won't break down under stresses that would crack most people. Sounds like our research, social, medicine guy. So... I'll, I'll check in a second, uh, everybody. Let's see... Who's here? Anmarix was here, so you're, you're, Anmarix is gonna be our Lord Scientist. June Seid. Hyper was uh, industrious, so he's working really fast, and uh, Green Thumb. Vatcrone, Soldier, and uh, Medi Evil Farm of Incapable of intellectual caring and social. You're just a worker drone. Yeah, that is a really nice trait, I think. Navy scientist and a medieval lordling, minor noble. Productive hippie. <laughs> yeah, you just want to grow things. <laughs> Take it easy. Don't care about anything. I uh, know nothing about the social interaction. Just your own hut in the middle of nowhere, smoking some greens. Let's start that. I'll also get something to drink quickly. Let's see how quickly we die now. Three of you awake in your cry cryo sleep sarcophage. Foggy. Yeah, uh, the sounds of sirens. And ripping metal. You barely get to escape. To pause. Oh, can I pause during this? Great. Uh, to the escape pods uh, before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land in uh, on this unknown rim world. A species of the shredded starship fall around you. You start making plans to survive. And there you are. Southern Hillbilly productive Hippie. <laughs> no, you're a space hippie. You're also really fat. Fat, and you have a purple hair. So you got that going. <laughs> you definitely are a, a hippie. With that hair. With two ladies. I don't know. I, 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 will, I will probably save and reload a bit. Send them. So what is this? Oh, coast. And there's stuff on the coast. Marble. Oh, what's that? Monkeys. Eat monkeys. Oh, tortoise. Tortoise and monkeys <laughs> on the coast. And uh, cobras. <laughs> what did I do to this game? Why am I punished? Yep. This looks like a nice map. What is this? Marsh. A really slow walk speed. Hmm. Not too much. There is like nothing to mine here, to be honest. Ugh. This is gonna be fun times uh, for the materials. What, are, what is that? Wild boar. Interesting. What else do we have here? Hmm. There's a uh, steam geyser there. Kind of wanna build a uh, to the coast and hang around in there. There's some materials here. Metal at the coast here. Yeah, I think I will move up uh, in this region here. I guess we are building a lot of stuff out of wood then. Uh, if we cannot get metals from anywhere. Actually, that looks like a nice shack. What's in here? Granite slate. You guys need a uh, trading pretty quick here. Yeah, definitely. There's just a bunch of monkeys there. Um, let's uh, set up shop here first. And something. Oh, actually, yeah, that looks like a nice spot. There's food in the... No, that's... F oh, survival meal in the water. Can you actually get to the shallow water? Yes, you can. How about the 
deep water now. So you can actually go the shallow. So you would actually cross over this. So this is not that good defensive spot. Like I was thinking. Okay, so here it is then. Uh, what do we need? What's that? Resource readout. Ah. You can toggle things on and off there. It's been a while since I played. So let's give uh, some zoning orders. Uh, stockpile. In there. Storage. Weapons. Chunks. Yeah. How about not the humanite corpse? We'll dump those somewhere else. Stockpile them here. There we go. And we need a dumping area for a stone as well. Oh, dump dumping stockpile. We'll store junk. Okay, that's that's good. Junk goes here. Ah, oh, corpses go there as well. Let's not put corpses, just junk and... Uh, yep, that's good. Wait. Oh yeah, 40 parts could, should go as well there. So you guys... Let's uh, pick up these things. There's a cobra right there. Oh no. Let's get some guns. He better get the Lee field. You get pistol. And you get a pistol. Let's get all of this into the base. You can claim buildings and deconstruct to get bricks. Oh, that's nice. I may deconstruct like something like this and get bricks to fi fix this wall and make a door there. I guess this order is chaput hunt claim claim neutral structures for the colony. Including ancient ruins and abandoned siege bases. Claim structure can be repaired and maintained by your colonists. So if I claim this. Claimed, I guess. Plan. Oh, they added a planning tool. That's nice. So you. Oh, they deconstruct. That works. Oh, do I need to claim this as well? Claim. Deconstruct. Okay. There we go. We actually have a metal and, and metal, metal and metal, not stone. We also have some survival rations. This should be fine. Oh. <coughs> Could you have ch jump Sandam? Sandam got crushed. Nothing happened. Oh. <laughs> well. That's an issue. You lost your nose, Sandam. <laughs> Cut off fresh. And you're pleading, it seems. Pleading great hundred percent. Well then, how do we fix your nose? Add a bill. <laughs> Euthanize. Um. Hmm. So how do we stop the bleeding? Hey, Beirut. <sighs> Medical beds. Furniture. Medical bed. 
Okay. Uh, let's see where do you get medical beds. Uh, there's a metal bed and royal bed and a sleeping spot, but no medical bed. I hope that's not something you need to research. Was someone picking his nose? <gasps> no, he he was uh, deconstructing the small building here and collapsed. That on himself, self, and he lost his nose. Sleeping pot and designate as medical. Okay, so. Well, that's that. No. Cancel. Uh, and this medical thing in here. Set as medical. There. Okay, so... How does the medical work? Oh, he, he goes actually to, to the bed. Okay. So overview, who is caring, caring, doctoring there? Animatics the scientist. We have a medkit there, so hopefully Animatics goes and uh, fixes your nose. Nice. <laughs> Pretty bad losing your nose. Now make sure you get a doctor. Yeah, Animatics barely knows how to do something. So You'll be fine. I don't think you actually have lost any health yet. <laughs> we need a plastic surgeon here. Sundam needs a new nose. Structures. Metal wall. Aha. Uh -huh. Fixed. Let's make a door as well. Uh, I'm gonna make a m m metal door there. Do need to zone this as a home region as well? Yep. I'll just get some clue and a knife. <laughs> All you need. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Sandam is up now, so m maybe his nose. Nose job done. Well, you have a no nose, but it's fine. I think you actually. Yeah, you are the masochist. So you like the pain. <laughs> and w we definitely can see that you like the pain. I'll just collapse this wall on myself and lose my nose. It's fine. <laughs> we also need a growing zone. So let's make a growing zone, like there. Let's cut those trees. Chop some wood. Oh, too small. Ah. Well, let's cut those and make the area there. Yeah, it is now possible to make those, Sandam. So we need to get you a prosthetic nose. You'll be able to smell anything with that new no the nose of yours. So collapsing these things is kind of deadly. Don't do it, oh, or you die. There is a uh, steam guys are there, which I will probably use. Soonish, and there's another one in there. So we should be able to get power fairly easily from those. There's actually a third one in there as well. So I may have to st start utilizing those at some point. Sandam is cutting the trees now. So that room is now done. M build a room. Rooms composed of separate wall pieces with a door. Uh, isn't this a room now? Hmm. 
strange. The wall is done as well. Maybe I need to actually make a room, uh, like make the whole structure myself, and not just a claim part of that. No, oh, it is it is fully claimed as well. Hmm. Interesting. Hyper likes to sit in the water and eat food there. Seems. Let's make a solar generator on the coast here. Get the power from there. This grass is fairly slow to move through, it seems. Those are just suggestions, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but I would like to get rid of them in there. Well, we'll be making room at some point. You can look up information in the wiki. Nice. Let's see. What happens if I click that? Aha, uh -huh, it opens the remote wiki. So if I'm wondering about something, I can actually check that now. That's good. So we have a solar panel now, which is nice. We need a conduit. And uh, a lamp would be nice. Should probably in the misc. Sun lamp, no. Uh, structure? Decoration. Decoration looks. Oh, there's metal plant. Pot. Oh, you can make these uh, from different things as well. Let's have a wooden pot in the corner here. And. Standing lamp. That's the one I want. I need uh, batteries as well, but I'll make them in a moment. There was a bunch of metal somewhere down here. Let's get those. I need to try out the new hunting system as well. Hunt some tortoises from there. Did they make... Uh, Power conducts placeable in the wall set. I think metal uh, walls conduct power. Uh, they did at least previously, so I would imagine they still do. This uh, is a stone wall, so I guess that's why there is why it's not doing anything. Can actually, speed up the time a bit. Need batteries. Yeah. Well, once we actually have a this hooked up to something. Can do some batteries. It's raining. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot of thunder in this region and rain because it's a tropical rainforest. Hunting accidents. <laughs> what kind of accidents, Sandam? <laughs> he accidentally tried to hunt something you really shouldn't hunt. I think manual hunting is, is probably a better idea, and was previously as well. Just hunt some tortoises with your guys. Where is Hyperi going? You actually have a blue hair, not uh, purple, it seems. It was just during the night, it looked like a purple. So we have uh, lights in there now. So once uh, Anmarix gets rid of that tree, Thank you. We'll make a growing zone here. I wonder if the tree is going to be in the way and how big we do we need. 